I'm trying to clear out some of the memorabilia in, in my closets, the photos are really pretty easy. You scan them with your phone and put them into Google Photos. But what about old letters? I came across this one. This is a famous letter from my mother in 1983. I could take pictures of it, but it's 11 pages. That would be 11 pictures. That's kind of a mess. So I thought about it for a little bit and realized that using Google Drive, I could scan this using my phone still, and the 11 pages would become one PDF document. Let me show you how. All you need is Google Drive. So if you have a Google account and you have the Google Drive, if you have an Android, it's already installed. It's in your Google group. If you have an iPhone, just install the Google Drive app. It looks like this, this triangle. You open up Google Drive, and then in My Drive and Files, now, I've already started a folder for memorabilia from my mom, and it's called Mom. So I'm first I'm going to open that. And then you tap the plus. When I tap the plus to scan a new file, it's going to go into the Mom folder. So I tap plus and then scan. Now I come over to the letter and just get the whole letter on the screen and notice it already captured the first page. Then I just tap the plus and it, it's automatically finding the outlines of the page and scanning it. I go to the next page, tap the plus, it finds it. All I have to do is hold it steady. And I'll do that for all 11 pages. It's captured all 11 pages now. I just tap done. And then you tap say, oh, you can give it, a, here's where you can give it a name. And I like to start with a date, 1983. Mom's famous letter. This letter really does mean something to me and I'm thrilled that I found it and I now have it online in my Google Drive. Let me show you on the computer what that looks like. So here is my Google Drive, just drive.google.com, signed into my Google account. I find the mom folder and I can find that 1983 Mom's Famous Letter PDF. It's one file that is 11 pages. There it is. <laughs> Other than the fact that her handwriting is not that easy to read, the scan is certainly perfectly easy to read. I'm Chris Gould with Geeks On Tour, and I think this is a fabulous way to save old memorabilia that's, in, that's paper.